for 24 hours. And I said half jokingly, if we put mobile banking on every cell phone in the world, we wouldn't actually have to do any entrepreneurship training. The entrepreneurs would spring forward. And I thought to myself, you know, I said that as a joke, but I really actually think that it's true. So we're working um, with the Gates Foundation and others to really capture a global partnership around mobile banking. So what I hope that you will do today is begin to think about those ways in which you can change the world and we can change the world together uh, using technology. I'll tell you about a couple things that USAID uh, specifically is doing because you might want to get involved in uh, some way. In, uh, uh, we launched in 2010 an alliance with uh, NetHope, which is a consortium of 32 of the world's largest NGOs, high tech and communication private sector partners. And uh, it's really aimed at how can you extend broadband, including cell phones, to really accelerate uh, uh, achievement of development outcomes. And uh, in particular, we are um, uh, talking about using and have launched with the Demi and Ashton Foundation, and yeah, that's the Demi and Ashton that you think, uh, in, uh, in Russia to use cell phones and mobile technology, SMS and MMS, to, uh, and GIS mapping, the combination uh, to uh, really shine a 300 watt bulb on uh, uh, sex and labor trafficking in uh, Russia. And soon we are cooking up with the new mission, the new USAID mission director, an apps contest for civil society. This is a particularly important one for myself because my father-in-law witnessed uh, 57 of his 59 classmates in Russia being gunned down um, uh, by occupying forces in Estonia, and my husband was born in a displaced persons camp. So I think about the powerfulness of civil society technologies and apps, and one of the things we know about the Russians, the Ukrainians, the Eastern Europeans is they had those 64K computers long after we had gotten much more powerful ones. And so they are some of the world's most brilliant programmers because they've had to be incredibly efficient about that coding. And that has been really important in terms of SMS and other things where we don't have endless amounts of bandwidth to make things happen. And so I think it is an example of the kind of innovation in the world that we can, um, can harness. But we're really excited about that app. And lastly, I tell you, so we're working around the world in different ways, and if you have a country that you care deeply about or a technology that you care deeply about, we very much like to learn about it and understand it. But I'd like to tell you about an opportunity that we launched uh, um, in this last month. We have a fundamental belief that great ideas come from all different places and all different people. And we wanted to develop a mechanism in which to incubate and scale those ideas worldwide, much like we've done with microfinance, much like the private sector has done with cell phones.